，这边。嗯，喂，你在哪里啊？啊，我差不多到底嘞。应该差不多了吧So David, what's your name? David. Yeah. Uh, Hello, my name is Beth. My name is Daniel. Uh, my name is Ben. I'm Kevin. Flash. <laughs> my name is Pusco. Oh, oh, yeah, my name is Noel. And Mia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she's good to get started. Yeah. I come from America, uh, Los Angeles County. Uh, Can you be South a bit Almonte. more specific, please? South El Monte. Okay. I am from England. Uh, I come from Manchester in the northwest of England. I'm from Harlem. I'm from London. I'm born in India, but raised in London. I'm from India, Mumbai. I was born in Gujarat, the same province as Pius. Uh, I was bo I born in uh, Rajkot. Uh, Hainin. Hainin. Yes. Where in India? <laughs> I was born in <laughs> South India in a uh, uh, in a city called Gujarat. Uh, Rajkot. Okay, go ahead. Uh, it's a small city in uh, Gujarat, India. West. In a, uh, west. Sorry, <laughs> I was born in West India. Sorry, he had to correct me. I don't know even know where I was born. <laughs> Thank west you, India. Lara. Thanks for that. Okay. I was born in. A, a city called Jamnagar. We lived there for 21 years. Then I moved to Mumbai just for making a good life. I always admired the big cities. I lived there for six years. I work in a movie industry called Bollywood. Uh, I was working as an editor, uh, assistant editor. I was born in the Holy Temple. Uh, my name was given to me by some other man that I don't know. Uh, a saint. My parents. A saint. Sorry, a saint. saint. A saint. Mad. Good, good. Uh, and yeah, Why is he was, a saint? He was a saint because he was a holy man. Mm. He was a holy man. <laughs> That's what we say. <laughs> That's what you got to That's say. That's yeah. the Indian culture. I don't really know the meanings. Uh, Why was the then I was man? taken to London when I was about you know, maybe six months old and I was raised in London my whole life. Uh, you know, London encountered, you know, many racism, you packy, you fuck, you cunt, you know, whatever. I grew up on it, whatever. A uh, very nice guy. I like to go to some other places after some times. Like uh, I moved to Mumbai. Then after five years or six years, I was getting bored. Like just in the similar job, go back to home, work, everything. So I was getting bored. So when I got opportunity to come to China, I said, okay, why not? Why I came here? I came here to uh, <laughs> learn about Chinese business. First of all. That's why I came to China, yeah. Chinese business. Even if I have to change my whole work... Dedication! That's what we call it, we call it dedication. <laughs> so, I get bored after some time, so I try, like to move to some other places. So that's why I came to China. I first went to uh, university, after two years of university, I oh. had my internship in China. So uh, what brought me to China? Well, I was given a I was given a sale job. I was given I wasn't doing anything with my time in London. I was uh, spending my father's money. You know, getting pissed, getting high every single day with my friends, going out, having fun. You know, bitches and have them, whatever. Anyway, sorry, my girlfriend's coming. So I have to explicit this guy. Uh, <laughs> I'll put bleeps. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go, go! That's gonna that's gonna hurt later. That's gonna hurt later. I had two years experience in China. 
after two years university back in Ireland, I thought, okay, let's go back to China. Uh, start where I left it, basically. So I'm 23 years old. I'm uh, 20 years old. I'm 24 years old. That's 26 in China because they the lunar calendar. That's true. Uh, How did you meet the boys? How did you I meet everybody? I met the boys one by one. Uh, did you meet anybody here? <laughs> yeah, I met loads of people here. Yeah. Like? Okay. David. Hey, that's me. Uh, was it with Dutch guy? No, first with Australian guy. Very nice guy. But, uh, Oh well, uh, first the guy who I made was Dude. Gio. Stop it, man. So I made him in a KTV. These two here? Oh, these two. Scott Sheldon, very nice guy. Before meeting this guy, I made him for like oh, we spent two months together. He was here for two months. Dude, so I'm like one and a half months, I was with him. We were hanging out every day, go Dude, for beers, club, everything. And any, any special mention, apparently. Does Dan get a special mention? Dan gets a special mention. Oh, okay. Uh, we stayed over here for three months. We had our first experience with China, slowly. Okay. Sometimes I Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, maybe don't repeat that, actually. Because you're 18, you come in here. Uh, you have to ride a bicycle. Uh, it's not easy. So. The first person was Black Daniel. He lived in the same apartment building as me, right? Yeah. He took me to Coco, Coco uh, downtown Hainan. So at that time, Kevin was in uh, Netherlands and Pius was in uh, Holland. Oh, uh, sorry, London. <laughs> Not Holland. So, I took me to Coco. That first night I went, I met Jack, who was a previous Brotherhood member in the Hainan, and I met Ben, which that northern bastard you just saw. I met them both in that club and ever since then I became friends with them. One day they came back and uh, Gio introduced me to these guys. Then he said, I'm going with some guys for the party. He said, uh, do you want to join? I said, okay, why not? And that's how I met these guys in Soho. And Jack introduced me to Kevin. We've been friends with him ever since. And that vow came later on in the uh, Brotherhood life. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm to put a little Gio. tree. I'm going to put a little tree as with you're talking. guy, Gio. Gio. Yeah. And then later on in the tree, after meeting Davao, we bumped into a fellow called Gio, who was from Italy. Porco Dio is what Dio he's called. Dio cane, fafaculo. Yeah, that's, there you go. <laughs> Soho Club. Yeah. The famous club in uh, Hining. Yeah. So yeah, that's the answer to that question. Good, how I came to China. <laughs> yeah. That's how I meet these guys. Many I met on Facebook, who, you know, I don't know any people who can speak in uh, speak English in China. So when I came from India before that, I you know find some people on Facebook who can speak Chinese. So that's how I you know met Mary and I talk with her about that. I'm looking for a job, so she said, okay, you can work in my company. But after three months, she said, you are not good. You need to go back. I said, I'm not going back. I have not come here to go back. <laughs> so I'm staying here. That's, that's well said. That's well, said. well said. Well said. That's well said. Well said. said. Oh, oh, the other, oh, the other come quiet. You were here before Ben? Mm, I don't know. Ben is here for? Three years? Three years. Yeah, I've been here before. Seven years. You were here for seven was years. Since my 18th? Since you were 18? Since I was 18. It was my first internship, but it was six months. Okay, I've, I've been here for three years. Okay, three years. Not six years. Huh? Um, I, well, actually, I originally came over on an internship, and I suppose that was four years ago. So I'll give you that. I've been here permanently for three years. Came here seven years ago. Then uh, I got an opportunity to come to China, and I just grabbed that opportunity and come to China. Well, well it's a big history. If you're here for seven years, it's a big history. Uh, ben, I uh, met. Five years ago, so I had two years without them. Um, what brought me here to China? Very interesting. He, see him. See you. See you later, Mia. Jesus. <laughs> Twelve. Northern counties. Oh, it's Northern counties. Yeah, from Manchester, fucking Wankai. Give me a fucking Wanka. Wanka. <laughs> What have you experienced? What can you share with us about this experience? 
drink a lot in China. <laughs> Small glasses. Small glasses. I've also experienced that if you go to a foreign country and live there, it's best to learn the language, which I haven't done. So you haven't done. So, uh, 15 years old, I lost my virginity. Okay, so David. You like West Side, man. Yes. You said West Side. Question for the man recording all these West. epic videos. This is me. <laughs> It was at a house party actually, I walked in, it's good. Uh, it's good. a girl took me into a room and uh, you know she turned off the lights and all I knew was my trousers went down and that was it. Did it look like the girl behind you? The girl behind me, no, <laughs> the girl behind me is my friend's girlfriend, right, correct, and they're probably making signs behind me right now, that's fine, that's what I did to Kevin, you'll see that on the video later. Anyway, that's me, huh? that's Ben, right, uh, you didn't catch them. Going, what is right, like? Fuji wanted to ask you. Okay, what is Fuji? Yeah. How many Chinese bitches have you fucked? Yeah. Whoa! Very good. No, that's pretty damn. I don't have enough fingers. No, no. no. Oh! 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 Next question. Next question. Question for the recorder. Tell me, get shoot away. How have you found being in Hainan for the time you've been yeah. here? My first day. Yeah. <laughs> Your that first was a terrible first day for you. So you came in. Let well. me tell you about David's first day. His first day. Put the camera on him. First so day when you come into China, make sure you know. Yeah. That's a one very good preparation. That is it. That is a good preparation. When I first came to China, I uh, I was confronted by Leon, uh, and he uh, picked me up from Shanghai. Got my sister on the phone, and she's uh, was translating for me. He says, "Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take you over to the school." He kept driving. He didn't tell me how long it was. The problem was that we didn't speak the same language. I remember seeing Ben and Dan when I was supposed to get to my room, but it was locked. So I saw Ben and Dan, they came up, and they were like, Hey, I'm, uh, like I'm uh, one of the time, British guys. Like, hey, you can introduce yourself. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's, go out, let's go out tonight to this place called Oasis. And I said, alright. And then Dan's story happened. So Come on. <clears throat> his first day he got in, and uh, Leon, his boss, was like, We're going out drinking. And I'd been here about two days. And ben was like, Okay, we'll go drinking. So we went out drinking, and it was like, a, it turned into an America versus England night. And it got heavy, like, it got heavy. So <laughs> Outside, I, right here. I threw up. I think I, I threw up on my bedroom wall and floor. And the next day I went to see Dave and I was thinking, my OP feels like shit. And me and Ben walk out the main gates and we see this American leaning against the tree gun. And we're like, you're right, Dave? And he's like, good. <laughs> that, was, that was David's first night and in day. China. Yeah. China. Okay, well, first of all, I wake up in an apartment that I just didn't fucking know about. I was just like, where am I and where's my passport? And I have a hangover. <laughs> so I, I get up and I'm in some, I have no, no idea where I'm at. In a foreign country, I don't speak the language, and I hope Leon's in the next room. <laughs> so right as I'm about to get all crazy, knock on my door and it's Leon. And I'm like, oh fuck, am I glad to see you? Shit, dude, I feel like shit right now. You should take me somewhere so I can get some help. He didn't understand me. So he takes me to his BMW, Good car, and he fucking bullets when he drives. He drives fast. And yeah. I was already not feeling good, and so I was like, Leon, Leon, stop, bro. Okay, seriously. I was like, I was trying to, like, I was trying to give him the charade. He's in the you know? car, man. Oh, and then we met you guys. And then we met you. Guys. We're up on the way. And then we met you guys. And that's end of, end of first day. How did you hear about this job? I can't really remember. I think I applied for it one night when I was getting frustrated about applying for jobs in London. And then they offered me the job. And nobody else had offered me any jobs. So mm. I thought, why not go to China? My work! I didn't know what to do in England. So I thought, okay, I might go teach abroad. Then I was kicked out of that company. He asked me to go back to India. And then I looked into it for about a month, scrapped the idea, and then about a month before I came, applied to loads of places. I worked for, I came here for working uh, in an export company. I worked there for like uh, seven months. I was going to go to Indonesia, later fell through, so I came to China. Then for two months, I said I will do for myself, like I work for myself. How did I hear about it? Uh, I got my boss now through my internship. He's my boss then as well. Is the name Leon by any chance? It's called Leon. <laughs> oh, that guy. Great guy. He's He's a good guy. Great. Sales rep. Oh, yeah. Sales rep. Yes. Good. Where? Uh, where? And then I joined another company. And after like three months, I was kicked out of that company also. What what kind of what kind of business is this? Uh, chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Yes. Chocolate. Oh, yeah. um, sometimes he misreads the years of the month. No, the months of the year. Um, but we can we can let that slide. I think. Uh, 
Uh, hmm. like Do you like chocolate? No. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. So finally, right now, I'm working for myself. What I do now? Uh, a lot of stuff. I travel around, uh, all for business, furniture business. Uh, how do I get this job? Well, I wasn't doing anything with my time, as I've already said. Uh, I do it in a uh, uh, very good way, professional way. Uh, and I was given a sales job by my father. Uh, he works with my current boss. Well, I'm making designs 600 a year. And uh, give me sales jobs. I made three sales in five weeks. <laughs> so there's uh, two a day. Boom. My boss is like, you're great, let me bring it out to China. So, that's how I came to China. He uh, paid for my apartment. That's where I make my money from. Furniture. For the trying the rest of the world with furniture. Brought me, I got me my visa. Boom, bang. I'm not working for anyone. Uh, exporting solar energy products to India. So what are your plans for the future? Uh, next year I'm working in Jiaoxing, which is a neighboring city. Back to China. Okay. Teaching football. Football. I'm going to Thailand in a few days and then I'm going home for summer and then I'm going to come back to Good. Hangzhou. To Hangzhou. And I'm going to be a music teacher and teach kids how to sing. Good. Next year I'm going to be a course. Um, develop myself, develop myself in multiple directions, in Chinese language. Do you have any plans for the immediate future? Immediate future, I'm going to eat some chicken. Uh, mental state. A little more immediate than immediate. Professional state. I'm working in a summer school okay. in about a month. Um, yeah, that's what we call professionalism. Develop yourself. Then I'm going to Sichuan province with Sichuan. my parents and my girlfriend. Then I'm going home to do some gambling. Then if I have any money left, I'm coming back. Very good. I uh, support a team called Stoke City mm. in the old football. Soccer for you Yanks. <laughs> I translate for you. Soccer's the real name, yes. Do you have any Chinese words for us? Ni han piao niao. Give you that. Tamada. Tamada. Who's your favorite philosopher and why is it Alan Watts? <laughs> You don't have to answer that question yes, if you don't want to. We can answer the first one second. And your girlfriend is? A lovely little lady called Mia. Yes, I'm Mia. Little lady. She's, she's of age though, right? <laughs> <laughs> so she tells me. Rolling! Rolling lights! Camera! Action! action. Devel, question number one. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I am David's friend and colleague at Honda School. Hi. Bang. So, how was your first time in Amsterdam? I haven't been to Amsterdam yet. Oh. I'm going this year. Yeah, I haven't been to Amsterdam yet. I haven't been to Amsterdam. Be there. You will be there because I'm going to call you and you're going to take a flight over. I will. <laughs> what is your address? My home. No, no. <laughs> Not where is your dress? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it, Mia? <laughs> Where is your dress? Where is it? What color? What will you do with your life in the next year? Next year. Next year, what will you do? Next. Do you have to hold up my name, Mia? What do you Next year. Do all of them. That's like 400,000 men. That's actually Last words. Uh, no. Give me last words. Tits, bollocks, arse. Uh, any last words? Um, if you don't go to jail in the immediate future, David, uh, I look forward to seeing you next year. And it's been a very nice year. I'm very glad to have met you. To prison! Yes! <laughs> what are your last words? Oh, I love your mom and dad. <sighs> okay, good last words. You love my mom and dad. Huh? Wait, what would you? Oh, you love your mom and dad. I love my mom. And dad. Okay, that's better. That's that better. That would be my last. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good, very good. All right, Kevin, that is good. Any final words? My final words is. It's probably not uh, convenient. It's probably not uh, you know holy or whatever. Fuck bitches. Drink. Stay loyal to your boys, and have fun. Nah. <laughs> <laughs>
for Ru's life. For Ru. Final words. I do love China, but I miss my family in India. There's something about India I really miss, like the food, the people. So I do miss India. Questions. Question. Ask them now. now. Questions. Davao doesn't have a question. Of the last words, we don't have any questions. When will you return to China? Uh, that is a good question. Oh, that, that is, is the face of confusion. Question. He doesn't I, know. I am being deported right now. That is the matter. <laughs> it's kind of jail. It's possible. It's possible I do not come back. But it's also possible I come back in September. Whoa! Oh! That's what I'm saying, right? Anyway, David, I want to quick, quickly say a last word. It's been great to meet you and I hope I see you as soon as possible. Do you mean as soon as possible? Hey yes AP! Hey yes AP! Hey yes AP! Hey yes AP! Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> There's a lot of animals in this building! It's a wolf! Okay, maybe I should go get my beer. Okay, let's go, shall I record? Let's go, get I'm gonna record all the way! I'm gonna record all the way! We're gonna get the beer! Come this way! Babe, let's go get the beer! Come on, babe! Why are you so excited? Oh, it's David's video, it's David's video. They're all going into Oasis. Not forever, September! Maybe. You just said September! I just said September. Jojo! Say hello! Hi! Hello everybody! <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna record this... Uh... Ah! Fuck! Ah, well, cheers on that. <laughs> Try dancing, I got jaw in the face. Look at that! This is a cheers! This is a cheers! <laughs> <laughs> this is my bacon cheese fries friend! This guy. Glad you said friend! <laughs> Brother! Brother! Shondi! 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 What does that mean? Who's this guy? Someone please go to the picture! Chicken Chicken Hey Amy! Alright, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, put that tongue back in! Put that tongue back in! This guy, eh? This guy! Yeah, this, this guy! guy. This, this guy! This guy! <laughs> Um, there's a story about him. Go on. Come on, let me tell you something. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna he's tell gonna, him he's something. Gonna slap me. I'm gonna slap I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell him something. Go I'm on. Tell, this guy something. tell him he something. To hear what I'm tell I want to hear it. I'm gonna tell him something. I'm gonna tell him something. You really want to tell him? I'm gonna tell him something. I'm gonna tell him something. He's just gonna get confused. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna tell you something later on. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna stop you. You're gonna get a tail! Well, I guess she's gonna tell me something. Hey, this is David Shaw. Hey, this is David Cheers! 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 Did you just cheers an empty glass? Yeah, you took it. You're doing with an empty one! Put the cheers on it! Put the cheers, boys! Put the cheers! Cheers! Hey! Hey! What a day! What a day! What a day! What a day! Hey, hey.